What's up Tethered Nation, my name is Greg and today I'm going to show you exactly how to wear and set up your Mantis saddle. Before we get into all that, let's go over the different parts of the saddle. Since this is new to most hunters, it's kind of important that you understand what you're dealing with. If you were learning how to drive a car, it would be pretty important to know what the accelerator was, what the brake was, what your steering wheel was. So we're going to define all the pieces of the saddle so you know exactly what I'm talking about when I refer to different setup procedures. First of all, this is the main body of the saddle. It's made up of mil-spec mesh, it's got two-way stretch for comfort, it's very strong, very durable, and ultra light. This is the waist belt. This is a load-bearing waist belt. The buckle is rated for a fall. It will hold you in the event if you flipped upside down, if you slipped, the waist belt will stay in place. These are the leg loops. These are non-load-bearing. All they do is serve to keep the saddle in place around your butt. They keep it from sliding up and down while you're climbing. All of the heavy lifting is done by the main structure in the body of the saddle. These are your bridge loops. These are made of 6,000 pound rated webbing. They're incredibly strong, incredibly durable. We even wrap them in a second layer of webbing for extra durability. The bridge loops is where your bridge connects. Your bridge is made of am steel blue, one quarter inch. It's very strong, almost 8,000 pound braking strength. It also has a benefit of being ultralight, weather resistant, and it slides very easily in and out of our climbing carabiners. These are your lineman loops. This is what you attach to the tree while you're on the ground and during your climb. Hook one end of your lineman belt to your left or right hip and then use a carabiner and a prussic knot or a rope man to your other hip so you can adjust as you climb. That way you're connected to the tree from ground all the way up to hunting height. This is the molly webbing we designed for quick, easy attachment of accessories. You can attach anything you want to your Mantis saddle. We have the sys haulers and the SBW heater that attach to the molly loops. There are a ton of different ways you can use the molly attachment system quickly and efficiently. Putting on the Mantis saddle is very easy. I like to hold the bridge in one end of the belt in one hand and then step through the bridge, grab the other end of the belt and buckle the belt immediately. That's my process. I like to tighten the belt down, hold it right around my waist. I always walk in with the Mantis saddle around my waist. I don't pack it in. Some guys pack it in, I don't. After you've got the waist belt attached, you wanna reach down through your legs, grab your leg loops and pull them up. Make sure you don't capture your bridge loops while you're attaching the leg loops. The leg loops have two attachment points. You can hook them up on your waist belt or you can hook them up on the main body of the saddle on the bottom webbing strap. After you've attached your leg loops, snug them down to keep them in place. When you have the waist belt on, sometimes the bridge loops can flop. I take that bridge, run it through my waist belt, and pull it tight. That keeps the mantis tight to my hips, tight around my waist so I can walk in and I'm not worried about it snagging on brush or anything like that. Once the belt is tight, the leg loops are in place and snug, and your bridge is tucked into your waist belt, you are ready to go. Now here's where some of the tethered accessories really come in handy. This is how I set up in the tree with my version of the Mantis. I like to run a sys hauler ES on my right hip and a standard sys hauler on my left hip. On my left hip, I keep my lineman belt and my tether. My tether goes in first and my lineman belt goes in on top of that. I keep one end of my lineman belt girth hitched to my lineman loops. That eliminates one of the carabiners. You don't have to do that. Our lineman belt ship with two climbing carabiners so you can take your belt on and off completely if that's how you want to use it. I like to save weight and bulk wherever possible so I want to eliminate that second carabiner. On my right hip I keep my, a few accessories, a pull up rope, and I also keep my Mantis recliner on my right hip. That goes with me on every hunt. When I get to the base of the tree, the first thing I do is hook up my weapon and prep my pack and I'm ready for the climb. Now to ascend the tree, run your lineman belt around the tree and hook up to your other lineman belt on your opposite hip. If you have a prussic knot, adjust the loop so it's nice and snug so you're able to climb and use the lineman belt to lean back in so you have a connection to the tree the entire time plus it allows you to use your hands as you climb so you can attach your climbing sticks or your climbing spurs or whatever method it is you're using to climb. 
it's important that the mantis stay around your waist. That's why the waist belt is so important and it's important to keep those leg loops snug. Once you get to the top of your climbing method and you're ready to hunt, before you climb onto a platform, whether that's a ring style platform with a ring of steps or a pivot style platform with the predator, always attach your tether before you climb onto the platform. That way, if the worst case scenario happens, the platform breaks, a step gives out, you slip, now you're connected to the tree with a tether and a lineman belt, so you have a double backup safety. Once I'm hooked in with my tether and I'm ready to hunt, that's when I'll remove my lineman belt. Again, it stays girth hitched on one side, so the lineman belt goes into that cis hauler on my left hip and it stays there for the entire hunt. When I'm ready to climb down, I do the opposite process. I take out the lineman belt, attach it to my opposite hip so I'm connected to the tree, then I can safely remove my tether and pack it away and ready to climb down the tree. When I'm at hunting height, I'll also loosen my belt a little bit and I'll slide it down. I don't like to wear my mantis as high as some folks like to do. Some folks like to do it up around their waistline. I actually prefer to run the top of my mantis down below my waistline and move the bottom strap of the mantis body down well underneath my butt. If you have the MicroFit adjusters, now you can adjust that position to get even more support exactly where you need it. You should now have an understanding of how to set up your mantis saddle, where you should wear it, what the different parts of the saddle are, and how it is incredibly safe. The Amsteel Bridge is rated at many thousands of pounds. It could hold a Jeep. The saddle body is rated for many thousands of pounds. It could hold a Jeep. This thing is incredibly strong. And then when you throw in extra features like lineman's loops and molly, molly straps, then you really have the ultimate elevated hunting tool. That's why we're such big fans of the Mantis. We think it does everything that you need. If you have a question about how to wear it or how to get more comfortable or how to be a more efficient saddle hunter, reach out to us on our social media or send us an email and we will happily respond and give you everything that we know about saddle hunting.